Hello, I'm Anthony Hughes, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to configure your system to use VST2 instrument and effects plugins in Dorico, the advanced music notation software from Steinberg. The latest major version of Steinberg's virtual studio technology, VST3, has been available since 2008. However, we acknowledge that many sound libraries offer only VST2 compatible plugins. Because VST2 is no longer officially supported by Steinberg, Dorico will not be able to see any VST2 plugins that you may have installed on your computer automatically. This video will show you how to configure Dorico to be able to use them. However, as a first step, I strongly recommend checking with your plugins manufacturer to find out whether a VST3 compatible version of the plugin is available. And if it is, we recommend that you use that version with Dorico. By default, Dorico will only load VST2 plugins that are explicitly whitelisted. These will be plugins that we have tested with Dorico and are satisfied that they will not cause any problems. As of now, in early 2018, only Native Instruments Contact plugin is on the whitelist that is included with Dorico. However, you can allow Dorico to load other VST2 plugins by creating your own whitelist. To get started, close all running programs, including Dorico. Make sure you have installed the latest Dorico update. This procedure will only work with Dorico 1.1 or later. The whitelist file itself needs to be a plain text file, so create a new text document in your preferred text editor. On Windows, that might be Notepad, and on Mac, you could use TextEdit. If you are using TextEdit, before creating the new document, open the Preferences, which you find in the Text Edit menu, and ensure that Format is set to Plain Text. All you have to do is type the file names of the VST plugins that you would like to access in Dorico. Ensure that you copy the names exactly, matching precisely the spelling and the case of the original. Do not include the file extension, however, so leave off the .dll or .txt. You might find it easiest to copy the file name from the file itself. On Windows, navigate to Program Files, Steinberg, VST Plugins, and locate the relevant files. On Mac, you will find your VST2 plugin files at Library, Audio, Plugins, VST. In this example, I'm going to add the ARIA Player VST and CFX Lite. Start a new line for each plugin you would like to add, as I have done here. OK, that's all I need to do. So I can save this file and I'll name it vst2whitelist.txt. That's with the number 2 and no spaces. And I'll save it somewhere I can find easily. I'll choose the desktop. Now we can close the file and move it to the correct location. Of course, you can save it directly to the correct location if you prefer, but for now, I'll just show you how to get to the folder. On Windows, hold down the Windows key and press R to bring up the run command prompt. Here we need to type percentage app data percentage slash Steinberg slash VST audio engine underscore 64 and click OK. Move your newly created VST2 whitelist text file to this directory. On Mac, Open a Finder window and press Command-Shift-G and then type tilde slash library, that gets us to our user library, slash preferences slash VST audio engine and press go. Drag your whitelist file from the desktop to this folder. Finally, we need to delete three files that you will also find in this same directory. The files are vst2x plugin blacklist vst audio engine.xml, vst2x plugin infos vst audio engine.xml, and vst2x plugin search paths 
VST audio engine.xml. Be careful that you delete the correct files. And that's it. Next time you start Dorico, it will rescan your installed VST2 plugins, adding those you have explicitly specified in the whitelist. And now you'll be able to select them when adding a VST instrument in play mode and route your tracks to them exactly as we have done with other sound libraries. If you found this video helpful, it would mean the world to me if you would click the thumbs up button below to let me know you've liked it. And please subscribe to our Dorico channel right now to see many more videos like this one. I'm Anthony Hughes. Thanks for watching.